Hey everyone, uh, Sully Man here. Today we got a tutorial on creating a vector t-shirt mock-up. Um, I, I guess the name will kind of deceive you a little bit. Um, it's going to be part raster, part vector. Um, we're just basically going to be kind of dealing with a rest, raster artwork um, in vector software. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, here's an image I found in Google, uh, just of a like a Hanes BPT. So I'm just going to head uh, copy the image. Um, my document modes in RGB, so I just created a document. Um, I think it's eight and a half by eleven, and I just paste in the uh, uh, copy and paste from Google with the uh, Haynes BPT artwork. Now I'm just resizing it to fit the artboard, uh, and then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to create a new one, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out the T-shirt with the pen tool. Um, you can find my uh, tutorial. Uh, through the videos um, on how to use the pen tool a little more efficient if you don't know it all that well. Uh, but basically, yeah, I'm just tracing the shirt out. Um, the one thing I want you to keep in mind is I'm tracing towards the inside of the um, image. You can see there's like a faint little black line um, on the actual JPEG image. I'm staying with inside that the best I can. Um, you don't have to go crazy on detail. Um, I mean, you you I mean, you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, basically, you're setting this up so you can save it as an asset, something that you can use later on for any you know T-shirt artwork that you might be creating. Um, that you'll have this mock-up file ready to go. So you know, go as detailed as you want. Uh, so yeah, just moving along. You know, tracing out the best I can, keeping some of the detail in. Um, yeah, the one thing that uh, I did switch instead of the fill, I'm just using it as a stroke so you can kind of see, um, you know, the way my paths look. And right there, I just kind of showed you, you know, if you make a mistake and click an anchor point somewhere you don't want it, you can hold spacebar if you haven't released the click to activate the anchor point. If you click and mistakenly place an anchor point, keep holding the click down and then, you know, tap and hold your spacebar. You can move the anchor point where you want it. So I just finish it up, and then what I'm doing from here is I'm going to change the um, stroke into a fill. I'm going to hit the little switch right there. You can do it by Shift X. That's your shortcut key. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill it with a white fill, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you in just a moment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit Cut. So Cut is just um, basically it removes the artwork, and in a sense it kind of works the way Copy does but it just basically removes it from the screen. Now what I'm going to do is I select the artwork layer or the JPEG image layer um, and went to the transparency panel and clicked make mask. What a mask does is basically allows you to punch holes or add things without being destructive. So I'm clicking on the mask thumbnail. You can see how the orange box just moved from there's the movement right there from the JPEG image to the black square. When you create a mask automatically it knocks everything out which is black. Black knocks things out, white brings them back. Which is why um, with a paste in place um, you'll see now the artwork that we previously created in Vector is paste into the mask which allows it to reveal um, in the mask. And what it reveals is that section that we traced out. Now what I'm doing here is just going through um, you'll notice areas that the path didn't uh, knock out the little faint black line in the JPEG of the t-shirt. So I'm just going and moving around and checking. So you can see on the edge of that t-shirt right there, I move the anchor point. And as I move it, the mask moves. And, you know, either will knock out or add in sections that you want. Um, and it's just a super powerful feature. Um, I'll have a separate video on masks here soon. It should be pretty short, short and sweet. They're not hard to uh, understand. Just think of it that you're being able to erase and add things without being destructive. So now, uh, keeping in mind that we did cut the T-shirt, I haven't, uh, you know, copied or, or cut anything else. That, that information still is on the clipboard. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and um, move the um, JPEG vector traced mask image uh, to the top of my stack, my layer stack. And then uh, in, the, in the bottom layer, I'm going to go ahead and edit, 
paste in place the shirt art. I'm going to fill it with a red fill now. And what you're going to see, I'm just going to kind of toggle off the visibility of the top layer. You can see that the top layer has the JPEG image. The bottom has the vector shape. Now there's a reason for this. So what I did, I just, un I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unlock the JPEG layer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Object, Rasterize. I'm going to select Grayscale. And we want to keep transparency because there's transparency on the outside of that T-shirt. As far as the uh, anti-aliasing clipping, man, I, I don't even worry about that. Just go ahead and rasterize its grayscale. And uh, you know my system's a little slow. Uh, it's a, it's an average system. You know, depending on the image size, it might take a little long. Depending on your system, it just might drag a bit. So we're going to let that process here for the moment. And what it did is just it, it rasterized it. I mean, the image was already rasterized, but we're rasterizing it with that clipping mask that we created. So it's a nice kind of smooth edge that you'll notice. And you also can see that when the transparency panel is open, after the rasterize, that mask is gone. But what we can do now is we can change the blend mode on that artwork. And I'm going to go ahead and select Multiply uh, for the blend mode. And what Multiply does, it actually knocks out all the, the white values and leaves all the dark values. So all that white within the t-shirt disappears and the black stays and it affects the layers below it. So what you can see here is now we have a nice red t-shirt and we can change that color to whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to grab some artwork here. This is something I illustrated just for fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab all this artwork. Now I'm going to copy and paste it in. And I'm going to paste it into a layer between both the shading and the vector shape. So I'm just resizing the artwork. I'm placing it here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you'll notice that the uh, the artwork's black. It's You're not going to see the uh, multiply um, affect the black because multiply keeps black. It's black. You're not going to see it. So I'm changing to white so you can kind of see. You'll notice uh, I'll zoom in and you'll see the pocket crease kind of overlaid on top of the white artwork. Uh, I'll move it over towards the edge. You'll, see, you'll be able to see it uh, on the left side too. See the edge of the shirt as it kind of dips into the shadow. It affects that artwork. So whatever your artwork is, make sure it's in the middle between you know the top uh, multiply layer and the vector uh, color shape for the shirt. Um, and you'll be good to go. That's how to create a mock-up. And you can do that with anything. You find um, you know any blank hats, pants, tank tops, you name it, this technique will work for it all. Uh, and you can uh, you know, save them and create your own little asset library. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, post this up in my Pixel Mosh, Pits, Pixel Mosh Pit store that I just opened uh, for free. So you guys can, uh, I'll, f I'll have that in the description below um, for you guys to download for free. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, uh, and share. It helps this channel grow and allows me to keep doing this for you guys. Uh, other than that, I just want to thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Sometimes you'll, you'll want to be urged to, um, uh, like on this style, just use a...